one of the this is one of the places I really love at the at the start, and again it really sets the tone for trying to get people a sense of where they are and 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 and, and what's been here before them and, and what they're walking across as well. Because if we were sitting here where we are right now, but um, two centuries ago, and um, we're looking out in in that direction out there. Um, this is um, this is what we'd be looking at right here. This was an image drawn in 1841 by a um, European colonist, and you can see all the eucalyptus trees all lining the banks here. The, the bulrushes everywhere, but but here you've got a a waterfall, uh, a reef of rock that completely dissected this this river into two. And for the Bunwurrung and the Woiwurrung people, the ancestral custodians of this place, you know this waterfall was incredibly important um, because it was like a it was like an umbilical cord that connected the two pieces of country together and was used as a way to physically move across from one side to the other and, and this was the only point for kilometres above and below stream that you'd be able to walk across without having to make a canoe or anything like that. And when the first European people came here, they mentioned this place just around here um, near the aquarium here as being um, a meeting place for the, the local community uh, as well because of this reef of rock. But it was also incredibly important as well because um, you could go a metre below the waterfall and the water would be salty and brackish but you would go a metre above that waterfall and the water was completely fresh water that you'd be able to bend down and drink. So. The waterfall marked the demarcation between water that was undrinkable and, and water that kept you alive. So for the Bunwurrung and Woiwurrung, that would have had a profound significance in their, in their lives. And, and not only that, but the, the waterfall would have had a song and, and a story and, and a dance associated with it. And, you know, and if we were standing right where we are right now, it wouldn't have been the Connex trains we'd be listening to. You know, it, it'd be the, the, just the constant tumble of this water cascading over this reef of rock. And, you know, with this bit of wind that's blowing between us, maybe the, the rustle of the paper barks are around here. And after thousands and thousands of years of the water tumbling over these waterfalls, it created a perfectly round, very, very deep, basin here that would have been absolutely stunning as well. Um, it was full of brim and flounder and herring in this area through here because where freshwater and saltwater mix it's always a known place for you know nursery of fish and even the early colonial people mentioned this place being where pods of dolphins would, would come in and out of the water feeding on all those nursery of fish just here as well. So it was a you know we call it biodiversity today, but it would have been a stunning, stunning place uh, as well. And it was a very, very important place for the Bunwurrung and Woiwurrung people as well. Um, unfortunately, in the, um, in the 1880s, the European people blew up the waterfalls and um, to allow ships further upstream. And not only did it allow the salt water to travel further upstream, but um, but it also destroyed the song and, and the creation story that went with this as well, that had been handed down for, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of years. But um, in um, October, in October 1835, um, just, just out here, um, this happened, just, just here. Uh, a whaling boat came up just out here and got to the waterfalls and it was a whaling boat that was commissioned by Tasmanians um, 
who were looking at colonising this, this new country just here, um, part of the Port Phillip Association with John Batman. And um, the whaling boat came up here, almost where that boat is coming right now, came up to the, the waterfalls just here. And um, that was in an August of 1835. And the white explorer um, got to the waterfalls and they couldn't get the, the boat over the waterfalls. And um, he had two Watharong Aboriginal people in the boat. And um, his name was John Wedge. He, he goes, well, look, I can't go any further. Um, and he's turned to the Aboriginal guys and in broken English he goes, well, we can't go any further. What's the, what's the name of this place? And the two Watharong boys go, um, Yarra Yarra, Yarra Yarra. And so in August of 1835, John Wedge wrote down in his diary the name of this place, the Yarra Yarra. And because... Um, because the boat couldn't get any further, they, they turned it around right in the middle here and rowed all the way back down to what we now call the Maribyrnong River and then rowed all the way up the Maribyrnong River to what we now call High Point Shopping Centre. And they got to another set of waterfalls and, um, and the whaling boat was too big again and so John Wedge again turned around in broken English to the Watharong boys and goes, well, we can't go any further here either. What's the name of this place? And the two Aboriginal fellas went, Yarra Yarra, Yarra Yarra. And um, it was at that point in 1835 that John Wedge wrote down in his diary, and those diaries are in the State Library of Victoria. He wrote down, I understand I've made a mistake in the naming of this place. And um, like I ask all my groups that come on this walk with me today, what do, what do four and a half million Melburnians call this place? And um, they say, the Yarra, the Yarra. And I say, that's, that's right, but that's based on a total misunderstanding because the original name for this place was Birirang, the, the river of mists. Yarra Yarra means the waterfalls as well. So. The name was based totally on a misunderstanding uh, as well. And again, that's what the walk that we do, Walk and Birrarung, is all about. It's trying to break down some of those misunderstandings, not only about the, the culture and the people, but break down some of those misunderstandings about the place uh, as well. And it's very important. Okay.